Hello and welcome to this ZCM video tutorial on how to update ZCM starting with the primary servers. During this segment we will display the update process for the first ZCM primary server, in this case version 11.3.0, adding two updates, 11.3.2 and 11.3.2 FRU1. As you can see a browser is open on my left side of my screen and ZCM server DOS prompt is on the right. To obtain the latest update for your installed version of ZCM, locate your needed update via the links provided. You may need to log into the download site. Locate the README to make sure all the prerequisites have been met before proceeding. It is also important to perform a check of the MD5 verification checksum to verify file integrity, which is listed at the bottom of the page and also in the README. As the documentation specifies, do not extract the download zip file. For this demonstration, we've downloaded to the local primary server under C setup the two update. In the DOS prompt, we will go ahead and enter the command zman sui and the full path of the location of the update. You may need to enter your administrator credentials at this point in time. I've saved them in the system with zman asc command so I don't have to keep retyping them. We will do that for both updates. Moving over to the ZCC under Configuration. Let's minimize this pane. In System Updates, you will see that the updates start populating and the progress of the import in the Available Systems Update pane. You will notice that both updates have now been imported. Update for Zenworks 11.3, 11.3.2, is a mandatory update. The FTF rollup is an optional. Once the import is completed, the system will then be ready to deploy after an authorization. The update from which the prerequisites have been met must be authorized before it can be deployed. By selecting the update, action, authorize update, will then authorize it for deployment. Since the systems are not at 11.3.2, trying to authorize the FTF rollup will fail. So we will do that after we deploy the update for Zenworks 11 SP3 11.3.2. Immediately following that action you can deploy the update to the first primary server in your zone by selecting the update action deploy update to devices selected devices in the management zone we will force a reboot Next, we will add the device, which will be our server. Next, we will deploy it immediately. Next, and finish. To speed things up, we can refresh this device, which will prompt communication to the server starting the agent install. You will see a second Zenworks agent appear during the update. It will shut down the first while it's doing the install. It will also give you progress as it goes. and a reboot is required. After the update, you will get this prompt logging into ZCC. Make sure all your primary servers are updated before your satellite servers, then proceed to the satellite servers, then the agents can be distributed. You will see going to the device that it's now at 11.3.2. Now we can deploy the FRU1. First authorize it. Then we will deploy to devices again. Using the same steps we used before for this primary server. We will 
wait for the device to receive this update. We'll go ahead and select OK to reboot. We can see that it has received the latest update, FRU1. And if we go over to the device in ZCC, since it has refreshed, it also has reported in as the same. That concludes a basic update for a primary server. Once all primary servers are complete, then you need to roll out to your satellite servers. Once they're updated, the Zenwork Adaptive Agent can be updated on all your devices. This concludes the ZCM video tutorial on how to update ZCM starting with the primary servers.